Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another video. I wanna start off today's video by saying thank you for taking the time out of your busy days to spend a few minutes with me. I appreciate each and every one of you. Also, we just hit a huge milestone and we gotta celebrate. We just hit 10,000 subscribers and I never thought in my wildest dreams we would be here. So thanks for helping make it happen. Only one way to celebrate and that's with a good old fashioned tape soda. Mmm. Cheers to 10,000 subscribers, everybody. Now, jumping into today's video. You guys already saw the thumbnail. You know what's happening. A lot of you guys have seen some of my other videos where I put diesel in two strokes and in four strokes and really a whole bunch of other crazy stuff. But today we're gonna be putting jet fuel into a 252 stroke and we're gonna see what happens. In the last video, I said if today's video gets 15,000 likes, we'll put kerosene in the KX250. Unfortunately, as of right now, we didn't hit that benchmark. We did not get 15,000 likes, but I don't wanna disappoint because we just hit 10,000 subscribers and we have to celebrate one way or another. Here's the old 450, just waiting to be ridden. Don't worry, I don't put diesel in this bike, but maybe I should. Let me know in the comments down below. Back here, we got the KX250. I decided the YZ125 has had enough, so we're giving it a break, at least for this video. So the focus moves on to the KX250. Alrighty guys, we're here a few hours later. Unfortunately, the neighbor started mowing the lawn, kind of ruined the audio, so we quit filming. We picked up back here right before dusk, and unfortunately, some winds come in, so now there's gonna be wind noise. Uh, this is a perfect example of doesn't always go to plan. So I'm sorry if there is some wind noise, but I gotta get this video out to you guys. I told you guys I'd be posting this thing in the morning, so I gotta stick to it. Here is my 2005 Kawasaki KX250 motocross bike. This thing isn't the fastest bike in the world, but as far as 252 strokes go, this thing is an absolute classic. It's one of the best 252 strokes ever made, in my opinion, in terms of an all-around bike. The motor wasn't the best compared to all the 252 strokes from this time. However, I've had several of these older 252 strokes, and this one's my favorite. This thing is pretty much all stock, except for a few things. We got an FMF silencer here. We got some Warp 9 wheels on this thing. Other than that, though, we got the original graphics, original header, with the original paint on it, pretty rare. Original engine cover, along with the original ignition cover. Very, very little frame wear on this bike. You guys can tell this is a low hour survivor. And today we are gonna be putting jet fuel in it. I catch a lot of flack from you guys about ruining these brand new bikes and all this stuff. And uh, the fact of the matter is I do actually care about all my stuff. I work really, really hard to be able to have these things. So know that I'm not just destroying them for nothing. I like these experiments. I like making these videos and I like sharing them with you guys. So yes, we are gonna be putting some fuel in this thing that isn't supposed to go in. It. like some of my other videos diesel in a two-stroke diesel in a four-stroke and the one where we obviously blew up the YZ125 on purpose all those videos weren't to be like hey I got this stuff and I can just destroy it because I don't care about it I don't think you realize how much I care about my things I'm very particular I take very good care of my stuff oil changes regular maintenance all the things I get it like these things are expensive and I had to work really, really hard to get these things. And so other than these experiment videos, I take absolute amazing care of my stuff. Again, I just wanna stress, it's an experiment. All right, I'm sorry if I upset you, it is what it is. Now, if you guys haven't seen those videos where I put diesel in a four stroke, diesel in a two stroke, or even tape the throttle down on my YZ125 until it blows up, all those videos were awesome. You guys absolutely loved them. So if you're new to the channel and you don't know about them, First of all, I wanna say welcome and thanks for being here. Second of all, I'm gonna throw the link in the description down below for you guys to check out those videos because trust me, you're not gonna to wanna to miss them. All right guys, enough talking, let's get to the action here. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys that this bike starts up and runs great. It's been about four months since it started up, but it's a Cowie, it's an old school two stroke. This baby will start right up, I just know it. After I prove to you guys that this thing starts up and runs perfectly normal, we're gonna drain the premix out of it, put the jet fuel in it, and see what happens. It's literally got cobwebs on it. You guys can't see it, but take my word for it. Let's go ahead and shake that premix up a little. Oh, this is the first time I've kicked a bike since I sprained this ankle really badly. And I'm not gonna lie, that hurt a little bit. So uh, if we can't get this thing started quickly, I'm gonna have to switch legs. Ooh, okay. Second kick, second kick. 
It's thinking about it. Ooh. Ugh. Can't do it. My foot hurts too much. Welcome aboard to KF250. We're gonna warm this thing up the only way I know how. And that's by giving her a good old fashioned lift. I told you guys, this thing is crispy. officially ran this thing to empty. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but I turned it to the off position. So we would run the bulb completely dry. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why I love this bike and will never sell it. This thing bucks like a bull. The back end loves to get squirrely. Riding this old school 250 two-stroke is like playing an instrument. It takes some time to get used to, and it might start off a little rough, but once you get the hang of it, it's like a beautiful symphony. Except my kind of symphony is two strokes banging off the rev limiter. There's nothing quite like the sound or the feel. And if you haven't experienced it for yourself, you're missing out. Right here, we've got three different fuels. We've got diesel, we've got jet fuel, and of course we've got gasoline. So what I'm gonna try and do is convey to you guys what the different fuels look like before we throw the jet fuel into the dirt bike. Typically a two-stroke motocross bike is supposed to run on 87 to 93, depending on whatever you wanna run, and you mix it with two-stroke oil. Some guys run 32 to one, some guys run 40 to one, or in between or wherever, I don't know. Everybody runs different stuff, but me personally, I run 32 to one, factory recommended. We're gonna start off with the diesel. Excuse the mess in the back of my truck. It's the final stages of deer season preparation. So I'm running to and from a bunch of deer hunting spots and that's why the truck is a mess. Speaking of deer hunting, if you guys are into deer hunting, let me know. I'm thinking about starting a outdoors channel where mainly I bow hunt whitetails in different states. Maybe do some bear hunting here or go out west and do something, I don't know. But if you guys are interested in that, let me know in the comments down below. And I will go ahead and start a channel dedicated to hunting. This is highway diesel, not off road so off-road is a red tinged or whatever and as you can see here this is more of a yellowish green that typically designates that it's for on-road use i don't know how well you guys can see that or not but that is what the diesel looks like up next is the gasoline 
This is going to be more of a clearish color. So pretty darn clear. Still has a little bit of yellow in it. Does have a slight tinge to it still. So we've done diesel, we've done gasoline, and now last but not least, we've got the jet fuel. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour in a little bit here. Now from what I've read, this stuff should be like crystal clear. Yep, that is obvious. Okay, so this one is extremely clear, kind of like I was talking about. As you guys can probably tell, the jet fuel is crystal clear, which is how it's supposed to be, I guess. I don't know. We're gonna go ahead and mix up some jet fuel with some two-stroke oil so I don't upset too many of you guys. This is not the typical two-stroke oil that I use in my bikes, but it's the only stuff I got laying around and it's better than nothing. Don't forget to measure your two-stroke oil to get that perfect 32 to one ratio. Now for the jet fuel. See how clear that is, guys? Don't forget to give it a nice, good mixing. All right, let's empty the premix out of this thing. All right, there we go, just about two gallons. Here's the jet fuel that we mixed up earlier. We'll go ahead and put everything we got in here. You can see how much clearer this stuff is compared to the premix. Before we fire up the bike with jet fuel in it, listen to this crazy statistic. 98% of you guys aren't subscribed. That is crazy. So with that in mind, do me a favor and smash that subscribe button because it would help me out a lot. Going off that topic, if today's video gets 20,000 likes, we will be putting diesel in a Yamaha R1 fuel injected crotch rock. If you've seen my other videos, you know that I'm legit about this stuff. I will put the diesel in the bike if you guys get the likes. So get 20,000 likes on this video and we will put diesel in a Yamaha R1 crotch rocket. We're not talking one cylinder anymore. We're talking four pistons, four cylinders, and fuel injection. So if you guys wanna see that video, you better do your part and smash that like button. This one's for all the marbles. We've got the jet fuel in the KX250. Probably gonna take a few tries to get this thing started. We're gonna go ahead and put the choke on anyways. We'll go ahead and fire it up. All right, there's something. Gosh, I know this isn't pretty, but man, my right foot is killing me, so I'm just doing my best here. Because now, we got the stand. get let's try one more like crazy
on jet fuel, baby. And it feels like it. Holy crap. This thing goes. Also smokes like crazy. But it is just chugging along. Guys, I don't know if it's a placebo, but this thing feels different. It feels faster. Oh, it does not sound good. Holy crap. It does not sound good. running on jet fuel. I'm a sweaty, stinking mess. It's 95 degrees, the humidity's like 200%. It took like 20 minutes to try and start this bike up, but we got it done for you guys. And now it's just idling. I don't know if you guys can tell, it's smoking like a freight train right now. Yeah, that's not good. Also, look at there. Well, that was a workout. <laughs> Holy cow. Tell you what guys, that bike was not playing friendly with the jet fuel in it. To be completely honest, I don't know if it's placebo or not because it's jet fuel, but dude, when I'm telling you when I got on the pipe, it felt different. It felt like it was just, it was just ready to go the whole time. I don't know what it is, but when I got in the power band there, it just cracked like it's never cracked before. And it was also making sounds that it's never made before. So quickly decided before the whole thing went kaboom, call it a day before we destroy this thing completely. Kind of like that YZ125. Rest in peace. Barely got the video done in time before it got too dark, guys. I wasn't planning on spending 20, 30 minutes trying to kick this thing and get it started. I hope you enjoyed the video. It was a ton of fun to make, besides the fact that it is hotter than you know what out here. So we're cooking, we're gonna go inside, get a shower, edit the video tonight, and get it posted first thing in the morning for you guys. Now, if you would, do me a favor real quick, smash the subscribe button, and while you're at it, give this video a thumbs up, because like I said earlier, 20,000 likes, and we will put diesel in a Yamaha R1 crotch rocket. We're not talking one piston, we're not talking one cylinder. We are now talking four pistons, four cylinders, and fuel injection, baby. So if you wanna see me throw diesel in a Yamaha R1 crotch rocket, give that like button some love. Get me to 20K and we'll do it. But as always, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.